island of Trinidad. Todd McMahon with the Colorado Historical Society tells us about evidence of past cultures in the area. Southwest of Trinidad, during the late 1960s and early 1970s, archaeologists from Trinidad State Junior College conducted excavations at many unique archaeological sites before construction began at Trinidad Lake. Approximately 750 years ago, the native peoples who lived here possessed a culture that had close ties to the Pueblo Native Americans further south in what is now New Mexico. Through excavation, we know these people first lived in pit houses, dug partially underground. Then the rest of the house was built above ground. Later at this site, these walls show that adobe homes were built. And finally, stone houses were built here. These homes had more than one room attached. Evidence of trade with Pueblo groups is found in the occasional black-on-white ceramics. This Puebloan culture was short-lived, however, as other groups moved in. Sites inhabited by other groups have been found in this area that date to later times. One such example of these later prehistoric sites is an interpreted teepee site which you can visit in the picnic area of Trinidad Lake State Park. But archaeologists are unsure if these stone circles were indeed the stones left after holding down the hides of teepees. They point out that the walls of the circle are too high and during excavation one of the circles had rows of stones radiating from the sides forming spokes. At the Loudon and Ritzy Museum on the campus of Trinidad State Junior College, you can see displays relating to the Trinidad excavations. Representative artifacts from the excavations and small dioramas are found here. The museum also has displays on other archaeological and paleontological sites found in the Trinidad area. The museum is located on the ground floor of the library on the campus of Trinidad State Junior College. Admission is free. For information, call 719-846-5508. Then, to reach the teepee site at Trinidad Lake State Park, go west on Colorado Highway 12, three miles to the entrance. This Colorado Historical Moment is brought to you by the Colorado Historical Society, the Loudon and Ritzy Archaeology Museum, and the Trinidad Lake State Park. Thanks, Todd. We have 